Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video. I know some of the math that we're doing in the workbook can be a little challenging sometimes. Today we started moving into our measurement unit. So go ahead and grab your workbooks, your volume two, and open to page 703. We're going to be talking about converting customary units of length. So go ahead and get your workbooks out. Let me get mine open as well for you to see. So page 703, convert customary units of length. At the very top, we need to keep this in mind at all times to make sure you mark it and refer back to it as we're working through these pages. So to convert means to change. We're going to change units. So sometimes in class when we were measuring, I would have you look at inches, I'd have you look at feet, even look at yards sometimes. So today we're gonna learn how to go back and forth between those. I do want you to go through on your own after this video and look at example one and example two on the next page on your own. It does walk it through step by step, so I want to take my time to work on things that are not gone over with you in the book. So let's look at the guided practice first. In the guided practice, it says complete each conversion table to show measurement equivalence. We know that word equivalent, it means equal. We did a lot of that when it came to fractions. So what we're looking for is how many inches are in how many feet? So here it's given us in one foot. How many inches are there? Well, if we flip back to our table on the other page, it says in one foot there are 12 inches. So we definitely need that information. So in one foot, how many inches? There are 12. So that one was given to us. So then if we look at the next one in two feet, how many inches would that be? Well, the easiest way to think is if there are 12 inches in one foot, I now have two. So 12 times two, that is 24 inches. So there are 24 inches in two feet. If I were to add another foot to it, that means I still have 12 inches in every foot and I have three of those. So 12 times three is 36. So that means I have 36 inches in three feet. For number four, four feet, I still have the same 12 inches in every foot. This time I have four of them. So it's 48. That means there are 48 inches in four feet. That's the same as saying we have one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet, and each one has 12 inches. So 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches, 12 inches. Let's look at the next one. This time we're going from yards to inches. So we're kind of going backwards. Before we were looking at how many smaller units were in the larger unit, so we were multiplying. This time, it looks like we're going to be getting smaller. So this time we might have to be dividing a little bit. So it says, how many yards are 36 inches? Well, we need to think how many inches are in one yard. So first, how many inches are in a foot? Well, we learned from the last one, there are 12 inches in one foot. Well, how many feet are in a yard? There are three of those. If we look back at our table, there are three feet in one yard. So I can't forget that, three feet in one yard. So there are three feet in one yard. That means there would be 12 inches. Let's write that over here. 12 inches times three feet, which is one yard. That means there's 36. So in one yard, so in one yard, there are 36 inches. So it's one and then 36. Let's look at the next one. This one we have 108, okay? We're gonna go a little different this time since we're getting smaller. We can think, okay, 108 divided by 12 because there are 12 inches in one foot. So 108 divided by 12. If you need, you may use a calculator for this because I have not taught you long division in school. So 108 divided by 12. 
That is 9. Or you can work backwards and you can multiply because you know 12 times 9 is 108. Okay? So that tells us how many feet. Well, I want yards. So 9 feet. There are 3 feet in a yard. So divided by 3, that's going to give me 3 yards. So there are 3 yards. So 3 yards for 108 inches. For the next one, 216, we're going to do the same thing, 216 inches divided by 12 inches first to see how many feet that would be. Well, 216 divided by 12 is 21, that's 21 feet. Well, I want yards, so 21 feet divided by 3 feet that are in a yard. That is the same as, oh no, this is 18, this is not 21. This is 18, I'm sorry. So uh, 216 divided by 12 is 18, 18. Then we have 18 divided by 3. That's the same as 6 yards. Sometimes teachers make mistakes too. I'm glad I caught that one. So six yards and 216 inches. Then we look at the last one. I'm gonna put lines so I don't get confused. 252 inches. I'm still going to divide by 12. I'm gonna use my calculator. That one is 21. So then I have 21 feet divided by 3 feet that are in a yard. 21 divided by 3 is 7. So that gives me 7 yards. There are 7 yards in 252 inches. Okay, let's look at number 3 on the next page on 705. So this time we're going from yards to feet. So kind of opposite of what we were doing before. Saying two feet or two yards and how many feet? Well, we know there are three feet in one yard. So this time if we have two yards, that's the same as saying one yard, oops, one yard and two yards. I have two yards. Each yard is three feet. So that's the same as saying two times three equals how many feet would that be? Six feet. So three feet plus three feet is six feet. So two yards is the same or equivalent to six feet. Let's look at the next one. Let's say we have three yards. I'm adding one more yard, which is three feet. So three yards times three feet. That's the same as nine feet. Three plus three plus three, or three times three. So three yards is the same or equivalent to nine feet. Let's look at four yards. Let's say we add one more. That's also three feet. So three plus three plus three plus three, or that's the same as saying four times three. It's the same as 12 feet. So in four yards, there are 12 feet. For five yards, it's the same as us adding one more. One, two, three, four, five. Three more feet. So five times three is 15 feet. So in five yards, there are 15 feet. Okay, for number four, we are looking at yards and inches. Well, we did learn before in number two that in one yard, there's 36 inches. So let's find out how many in two yards. Well, I'm going to think 36 times two. 36 times two is 72. Work it out to the side, get some scratch paper. So that's the same as two yards and 72 inches. Make sure you're working these out. For the next one, for four yards, we wanna do the same thing. If there are 36 inches in one yard, well, I have four of them, so 36 times four. 
I need you to work it out. You can see I've already worked these out on the side. So 36 times 4. Pause the video if you need and work these out. 36 times 4 is 144. So in 4 yards, that's 144 inches. For 5 yards. I'm going to do the same thing. There are 36 inches in one yard. Now I have five of them, so 36 times five. 36 times five is 180. So it's five yards, 180 inches. Then for the last one, if I have eight yards, that's the same as 36 times eight because there are 36 inches in one yard. I now have eight of them. So 36 times 8 is 288. So 8 yards, 288 inches. All right, for number 5, we are looking at feet and inches. If I look at 3 feet, I want to know how many inches there are. Well, there are 12 inches in 1 foot. So now I want to think 12 times 3. And 12 times 3 is? 36. So that means in 3 feet, there are 36 inches. For 6, I'm going to do the same thing. There are 12 inches in 1 foot. I now have 6 feet. So 12 times 6. 12 times 6 is 72. So that means in 6 feet, there are 72 inches. For number 9, do the same thing. 12 times 9. Because there are 12 inches in one foot, I now have 9 of them. 12 times 9 is 108. So 9 and 108. And then for 12, 12 inches in one foot, I have 12 of them. So 12 times 12. 12 times 12 is 144. So 12 and 144. Number six can look a little challenging to start. I'm going from feet to miles. So let's look back at our table on the other side. For one mile, there are 5,280 feet. That is very important. Oh, look, for one mile, how many feet are there? It just told us 5,280. So that one is already done for us. So for one, there's 5,280. Now if I look at two, it's the same thing, 5,280 times 2. Same for 3 and 4. I have already worked these out to save some time. So if you look at these right here, I have worked all of them out. You need to do the same on yours. All right, after multiplying all of those out to the side, go ahead and pause this video and check your work. All of your answers are here. See if you got these correct. Now let's take a look at the bottom. Number seven, in 11 feet, how many inches is that? Well, we know there are 12 inches in one foot, so that means 11 times 12. That's the same as 132, so that must mean there's 132 inches. For number eight, 18 yards is how many feet? Well, there are three feet in one yard, so that must mean 18 times three. You do need to work these out. 18 times 3 is 54. So that means they're 54 feet. For 9, 9 is a little tricky. There's 2 and 1 thirds yard. Well, we know there are 3 feet in 1 yard. So that means 1 third. Think back to fractions. That's only going to be 1 foot. Okay? So we have 2 yards. So the 2 yards right here. That's 2 times the 3 feet. That's going to be 6 feet. And then 1 third is going to be another foot. So the 6 feet plus the 1 feet, that's 7 feet. So we're going to have 7 feet total. Below, I have the answers for the other questions. Make sure you do these first before you are checking them. If you have any questions, please let me know. Because of time's sake, I do have to stop this video. I'm only given 15 minutes. But please send me a dojo message, have your parents email me, or write on our question page on the class notebook.